Are you ready to learn about crickets? This is a really, really interesting book. It's called Chirping Crickets, and it's written by Melvin Berger and illustrated by Megan Lloyd. So, big thank you to Melvin and Megan. And our mystery surprise guests are... Dun, da, da, da! Crickets! <laughs> Check them out. There they are. So there are, some of them are hiding underneath here, let me see. Nope, not anymore. And I put a big carrot in because they love carrots. So by the, this time tomorrow, that carrot will be all gone. They'll eat the whole thing up. And then I'm going to release them. I don't keep them, so don't worry. They're not going to, they'll be free. <laughs> all right, let's get started. Chirping crickets. This book does not want to stay open. Okay, here we go. It's late in the summertime. The day is nearly over. The sun hangs low in the sky. Listen, the crickets are loudly chirping. Here, you see them over there? You can hear crickets chirping almost everywhere. In parks and woods, in fields and on lawns, along country roads, even inside your house. It is the male crickets you hear. Do you guys know what male is? Male and female? Male is a boy and female is a girl. So it says it is the male boy crickets that you hear. They usually stay in one spot and call the females, the girls, to them. Most of the females cannot make sounds. So at nighttime when you hear crickets, it's the boys. It's the boys making all that racket. All right. A male cricket does not chirp with his voice. He makes a chirping sound with his front wings. Each wing has a sharp edge called the scraper. See, wait, hold on, let me make sure you guys can see. Okay, there's the scraper. And let's see, the wing also has a long bumpy vein called a file. The cricket lifts up his front wings and rubs the scraper of one wing against the file of the other wing. Chirp! Back and forth he rubs his two front wings. Chirp, chirp, chirp! And then, look over here. It says, would you like to chirp like a male cricket? Get a piece of stiff paper and a nail file. Rub the file against the edge of the paper. The sound is almost the same as a cricket's chirp. So if you want to try that at home, that would be a fun little thing to do be a cricket. The ears of a cricket are not where you would expect them to be. They are under the knees of the cricket's front legs. Now that is crazy. The book didn't say that, I just said that. <laughs> Each ear is a tiny hole with a tight, tissue-thin cover. Crickets hear chirping sounds through these tiny holes. Now would that be silly if you had ears under your knees? That would be so funny. All right, this is what happens. The chirps make the air move or vibrate. The vibrating air forms sound waves. The sound waves spread out to all sides. When they bump into the cricket's ears, the cricket hears the sounds. A female cricket hears the male's chirps. She jumps toward the sound. Closer and closer she gets. Soon she is alongside the chirping male cricket and they mate. Oh, let's see what's going on. Inside the female, the tiny eggs start to grow. And, and when the eggs are ready, she uses a long pointed tube at her back end to make tiny holes in the ground. You see how she's making tiny holes? And then she lays her eggs inside those holes. The eggs look like tiny yellow bananas. So she puts her eggs underground with her the little pointed tube. In the spring, oops, hold on. In the spring, oh look at all those. Um, the eggs hatch into nymphs. A nymph is a lighter is lighter in color than the adult cricket. It doesn't have any wings. So it's kind of like almost like a worm. Well, no, it's just a cricket without, without wings. Um, 
Soon the nymph gets too big for its hard outer covering. It wriggles out of its old skin and grows a new outside cover. This is called molting. The nymphs molt again and again. Some nymphs molt as many as 12 times depending on the amount of food available and the weather conditions. After the last molt, they are adult crickets. So these crickets go through a lot. All right, let's see. Most adult crickets have two pairs of wings, front wings and back wings. Usually the wings lie flat over each other. The back wings are bigger than the front ones. Some crickets use these for flying. The front wings in males are used to chirp. Like all insects, crickets have three pairs of legs. The two front pairs are small, but the back legs are big and strong. The crickets, the cricket uses them when it jumps or flies away. Some crickets can leap as far as two feet. That's about as far as you can hop. They can jump far. Whoa, up close. Crickets have two big eyes. Each eye is made up of many tiny eyes. They let the cricket see in many different directions at the same time, but a cricket's vision still isn't very good. In fact, crickets rely more on their ears to protect them from, from danger. Few enemies can sneak up, sneak up on a cricket. You know that if you've ever tried to catch one. Like, look guys, if I try to catch a cricket in here, watch how fast they are. I'm going to stick my hand in. I get a little scared every time I do that, but they're very quick. They will not, they don't really let you catch them. Okay, the cricket's mouth is at the front of its head. It has no teeth, but its strong jaws are able to cut up the leaves and small insects that it eats. Two long, thin feelers on its head also help the cricket. These feelers are called antennae. Some antennae are longer than the cricket's whole body. Wow, that's cool. Um, antennae help crickets find food and alert them to danger. There's thousands of different kinds of crickets that live around the world. Oh, here's a field cricket. So field crickets are the most common. They are about one inch long and are dark brown or black in color. Field crickets mostly live in tiny tunnels in the ground. Male field crickets sit in their tunnel entrances all day and chirp loudly at night. At the same time, they are watching out for danger. If an enemy shows up, the male cricket, the male field cricket gives a high piping chirp. Into the tunnel he pops. All right, what's over here? You can find ground crickets in the United States and Europe. They are brown or black like field crickets, but they are only about half the size. Ground crickets settle in damp places such as grassy riverbanks. Their song sounds like the tinkling of bells. Many ground crickets hide during the daylight hours, but at night they are active, eating, fighting, and mating. Oh, look at these guys. Tree crickets are the same size as field crickets, but they are pale green or white in color. Their very long antennae reach back to the tips of their rear legs. Male tree crickets do not usually chirp alone. Instead, they chirp in groups. A typical course of tree um, crickets may have hundreds of males. Their high-pitched song sounds like tree, tree, tree. Tree crickets hide in trees, bushes, and tall grass. Here they find the smaller insects that they like to eat. And let's see, here are house crickets, and they're best known in Europe. They would rather live indoors, especially in warm places. Their favorite spots are near a stove, a fireplace, or a heater. See the fireplace up here? These light brown or yellow crickets endlessly repeat their high, trilling sounds. Many people believe that house crickets bring good luck. Having a cricket in your house, they say, means that nice things will happen to you. So what do you guys think? I have a lot of crickets in here. Am I going to get like a lot of good luck? I hope so. The sky is very dark now. Oops, hold on. Let me make sure you guys can see this. Okay. The sky is very dark now. The loud chirpings of the crickets fill the air. It is nighttime. It is the nighttime sound of late summer. That was a good book. Did you guys like that? I hope so. It's always fun to learn about new creatures and, you know, 
figure out like their ears or on behind their knees. That was crazy, wasn't it? Imagine if we walked around with our ears by our knees. That would be so silly. I wish I could pick one up to show you guys. I'd like to look for those tiny little ears and <laughs> the tiny little holes. But there they are. Let's see, let me try again. Don't mind if I scream. Oh. Oh. There they go. So we'll release them tomorrow. But they're not chirping. Maybe I have a whole bucket full of female crickets because I have not heard them make a peep. Maybe they'll start singing later. All right, guys. Well, if you'd like to get crickets, they're usually sold at the pet store for like 10 cents each. So they're fun to let go and watch and play with in the grass. They're a lot of fun. They jump so high. All right, guys. Thank you so much for reading with us. Come back and read soon. Bye.